guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Katie and I'm here with Charlie today. Mm, hi! Hi monkeys! I need a haircut, I need a haircut. Yeah, because it's finally really really warm, actually almost hot in Chicago. And I'm also here uh, with baby Gabriel because I want to reflect on a doll show. I want to talk about something and I would like to show you my little haul and gift gifts that I received on Sunday and uh, I think ladies who already watched the video they know that for the past Sunday or past yesterday before yesterday we had a huge reborn meetup it was a Midwest reborn meetup I'm going to call it not only local because we had few ladies who were from neighboring states from different states who traveled over and so that was so much fun guys um the doll show was big i mean kane county fairgrounds are huge for all of you who already watched the video you saw the whole building there's actually numerous buildings but the show is hosted at the biggest one um also as i said in my video i thought that we i was expecting about 12 ladies, 12 people, and at one point I was shocked because I counted almost 26 people. So I am very, very happy and very, very proud of what we accomplished here in Midwest because when I started this group last year, um, it was just four of us at the beginning. Well, at the completely, completely beginning, uh, it was I was here alone in Chicago and uh, I was new to the hobby. I was new to the community uh, And I was lonely. I didn't have anybody so when I watched all of my favorite channels uh, I saw all these ladies who had local mommies. They went out. They didn't even have it, it was not even only about the meetups, but just socializing with somebody who shares the hobby the love of the dolls whole shebang um, and I didn't have anybody here and I thought that it was pretty much I didn't even count that I would found, find somebody so then uh, Kylie contacted me and Dina from Love My Boys and Kylie from Kylie Get S uh, these two ladies contacted me uh, I, I learned that they're from the area so I was chatting with Kylie on Instagram because Kylie get also with the Instagram and uh, then uh, Nina joined because Nina was on Instagram she wasn't making any videos but you know so she's local as well so when I started this group or when we started this group with ladies uh, it was four of us at the first meetups and I thought it was awesome we all were so excited because four was already fun and then to see then, of course, Kimberly from Kimberly's Cocoon, she is a very valuable member of, of our group. Kimberly uh, doesn't go to all meetups because she lives few hours from Chicago, so she attends when she can. And then we got uh, Jacqueline from ja uh, Jacqueline Cassidy, the master and prototype artist, who is, I had no idea that she was local, but she's a part of the group. And then recently Renee joined our group uh, from uh, random reborns so she she joined and her daughter and then we have a few other ladies Naomi and her mom and Angela who is uh, from the neighboring state but I hope to see Angela pretty soon at the next meetup so then there's Tammy I, I I'm not sure if Tammy is, is on YouTube but Tammy is the very close friend and the client of Kimberly's and now recently at this doll, sh doll show we gained a few more members one lady is from Rockford area another one I'm not sure where she is from but I'm telling you guys at one point it was 26 people strollers everywhere babies everywhere so when we started this and when we went to the first doll show uh, reborn babies and reborn moms and reborn community, reborn people 
are pretty much unheard of at these doll shows. And suddenly, I must say, we are or we were the most active and most vibrant group at the past doll show. Because, you know, vendors most of the time are the people, the same people, or uh, almost the uh, you know, people who attend all of these shows. So it's usually you have vendors chatting, but you don't really see a lot of clients who would know each other, who would come in groups, who would socialize, who would add some life and spank into the doll shows. So I really am, um, I was really surprised and pleasantly and really excited to see that we were really the most vibrant group over there. A lot of new faces. A lot of new people, a lot of new young people joining these doll shows. <clears throat> new, face, new faces also for other vendors because, as I said, it's not that we come to the doll show and we just uh, go to the reborn booths and we don't check anything else out. <clears throat> I know that a lot of ladies are collecting other kind of babies in a community, even in my local group. I know that. Uh, Kimberly, she really loved, oh my goodness, she really loved those uh, one-of-a-kind uh, teddy bears that have are being made from the coats, old coats, fur coats. I know she got some Raggedy Ann doll, and Kylie, I don't know if Kylie purchased any Raggedy Ann dolls, or not the Raggedy Ann, um, Hobby Holly she purchased at the past meetup. And ladies are shopping also for vintage books, uh, vintage toys and accessories. Uh, some ladies are also collectors, like I think Nina and also Rain's little Naya. They are collectors of American Doll Girls, so they are shopping at American Girl little booths, you know, for either dolls or clothes or whatnot. So, yes, it was really, really, guys, it was really. A lot of fun I think the whole energy and the vibe in our group it, um, is very positive it's a lot of fun I I personally had the most one of them this was one of the most uh, successful meetups that we've had in the past year and uh, something I think it's slowly bit over a year since we've been organizing these so I think we, we are really really a good group yeah, it's you know, I, I'm just going to touch up on that, guys, um, because I posted my video three hours ago, about three hours ago, and I already received 90 messages from YouTubers, from ladies that I knew that they were somewhere near the area, also the ladies from other states who are willing to travel several hours to the meetups, uh, some new ladies, new subscribers that I had no idea that, you know, um, they were they are new in a community and all of these people 19 messages in three hours guys people who would love to attend next meetups so I really do think that we are most active uh, reborn group on YouTube and um, also the fastest growing I mean we are hitting almost if these 19 people if even half of them comes we will be over 30 members you know by the end of the summer we are I think we hopefully will hit the number 40. So that's a really big group, guys. So that really, we were kind of um, chatting and maybe pondering with other ladies that we could, we would really like to organize some doll show that would, uh, because you know, you have Rose Doll Show, which is constantly in Utah which for uh, East Coast and Midwest. It's really far away for a lot of ladies. Then you have another show down in Florida, which for northern states, uh, far west coast or also east coast, it's again, you know, it's not very uh, close. So it would kind of be cool to have a real reborn doll show organized maybe uh, here in the Midwest, something, uh, or it, it doesn't have to be Chicago, guys, but I mean, it's somewhere in the middle of United States. So other people who cannot attend the Rose Doll show or the other show would have a place to see and meet the these sculptors and maybe artists, um, other collectors, you know, to mingle, to have some fun. 
so yeah that is a music of the future but I, I was kind of pondering and I was talking to a few ladies uh, I think it would uh, really be fair for all collectors that are, ki that are kind of like centered here and because you know um, I don't see Rose Dosho moving out of Utah like it used to kind of like move now it's just I don't think that they're going to do any other location so you know, for all ladies who just it's just way too far away it's maybe expensive uh, I think this would be a good opportunity to have something in the middle you know so also uh, uh, there was something that I wanted to talk about guys I'm going to actually uh, have a sip of coffee so cheers guys uh, long live caffeine and I'm sorry let me Who's your water, honey? Let me get Charlie to... He's really thirsty. Apologize. What is it, honey? So, yes, ladies, there is uh, something that I wanted to talk about. Mm. Let me show you my little Gabriel. He is just wearing his little... <laughs> and his hair is really wild. But he's just in his onesie because it's really, really hot guys so maybe I could uh, a little bit I don't do a lot of role play guys but uh, since I'm going to chat about something I have this little bottle so let me have some fun here with my boy and I'm just going to I um, did this maybe twice in two years what is it, honey? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, there's uh, this one thing. Um, Kimberly, because I watched already the uh, Kylie's video yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, she was really busy. She posted her video on Sunday, right after the show. And also, I watched Renee's video and I watched Kylie's video, uh, not Kylie, uh, Kimberly's video, Kimberly's Cocoon, my darling girl's video. And Kimberly touched up on that little subject very, very gently, you know, Kimberly. But there is this thing that we noticed, a lot of us. It's not a new thing because I know that Crystal from Life with Crystal, she already mentioned it a few times. You know, at these doll shows, I always thought, okay, doll community, um, there are different mediums, a different kind of dolls and toys, actually. I would not even call it a doll community. I would also include toys because there's a lot of teddy bears at these uh, shows and other collectible toys, which are awesome and really, really cool also. So you have all these dolls, you have all these toys, these mediums, porcelain dolls, vintage dolls, uh, antique dolls, antique uh, collectible uh, things like uh, toys, rattles, uh, vintage books, vintage Barbie dolls, and you have American dolls booths, uh, as I said, a supply bo uh, booths for everything under the sun doll related you have the ladies who are selling vintage linens fabulous pieces uh you have a really great chance to find uh an antique or vintage little baby bonnet which i did i will show you in the end of my video i will show you my haul guys but uh we actually noticed and not it only us but there has been at the past uh doll show there has been a little complaint about reborn people, they call us reborn people, by other dealers or sellers from different booths. Uh, I, I don't know how many, I think it was one or two people. Uh, these people seem not to like reborn dolls and reborn doll collectors whatsoever. They do not consider us a part of a doll community because they don't consider these babies to be a piece of art, they don't consider them to be collectibles. Um, Obviously, they have no idea how much art and how much work and vision and all that goes into making these babies, these dolls. 
they have no idea that we also have limited edition. We have rare sculpts, less rare sculpts. So all together, um, they are just judgmental, I think. I, um, my, I'm, me, myself, I uh, do not collect, let's say, teddy bears or American dolls. I do have pretty big collection of vintage Barbie dolls, but they're in my home country at my mom's house. And I do have about 15 one of a kind, teeny tiny uh, polymer clay babies, which I will show uh, pretty soon this summer because we are, they are all packed, but I'm going to unpack all those boxes because I want to organize a little room in this house that maybe, maybe I would have a nursery, nursery this summer at least. So I would like to unpack those and I also have a few fairies that I get um, each year or annually at <laughs> uh, this little uh, fair that we go to. It's medieval times fair. So I, I get they're individually sculpted, of course, uh, by polymer clay. So yes, I do have another medium and a another type of, type of dolls as a collector. It doesn't mean that um, I go to these sh doll shows and I absolutely do not wish to see any other types of dolls and toys that I judge people who are collecting porcelain dolls or people who are collecting American girl dolls or people who are really into one-of-a-kind handmade teddy bears, vintage uh, teddy bears or whatnot. There is also some militia uh, army inspired collection which is private, it's not for sale but uh, that was the first time I've seen a dolls of that type. So you have so much types of toys, dolls, mediums, uh, and I, I personally, and I know that none of the ladies in not even my group, but on on the uh, YouTube community and also anywhere, pretty much on on Facebook, nobody is judging other mediums. Nobody is judging other type of collectors. I don't know what is it that, especially the reborn community, is constantly judged by outsiders uh, who have nothing to do with dolls or even other doll collectors because I could see the faces and this is not the first time I could hear the whispers of other dealers that were kind of not um, very careful hiding or concealing their true feelings about us as collectors. Uh, we had a few reactions, which I will address in my next video, babe, because that's going to be a hot topic, guys. Please stick around. Um, I was talking about this. Something happened in the end of the uh, meetup, which uh, was it at the restaurant. So we had really good reaction, and it really sparked this fabulous topic. I uh, discussed it with uh, Deanna and with Jacqueline. And we all agree that that would be a good discussion. So I'm going to address that in my next video. But uh, there was something. Yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about how really is it is a shame that uh, other doll collectors are uh, very unforgiving, or not even unforgiving. They're judgmental because there's nothing to forgive. We are not doing anything bad. We are still shopping at their booths. I uh, got a few goodies at other booths not only at the Jacqueline's booth. So, so it's very sad, very, very sad. And uh, I, I don't know, I don't see that thing or that situa situation changing anytime soon, guys. But yeah, uh, little Gabriel, here he's full. <laughs> Let me burp him. Goodness, I don't know how to do this. So yeah, so that's that. That was uh, my thought about the meetup. But uh, all in all, it was fabulous. I mean, as I said, I expected about 10, 12 people, and at some point, suddenly there was this group and people constantly coming, come more and more, and then even ladies with uh, their real babies who, you know, young 
members of a group, new doll, reborn, reborn baby doll collectors joined our group, which is fabulous because we have a new generation of collectors growing, of course. And we basically were all circulating or we had the main um, station, I call it, at Jacqueline's book, Jacqueline Cassidy which is master and prototype artist and she had her booth over there with babies. So yes, uh, then of course we were mingling, we all chatted, it was so hard to catch up. I just think that, you know, I always thought uh, these meetups would be a, a fabulous way to catch up with each other, you know, and, and, and uh, the chat and just to browse. And it, it, you would, I personally, I was really trying this time to film not only the booths, but I just wanted to capture the whole atmosphere of um, of our group. So I was trying to introduce the babies that were at the group, uh, mommies behind the accounts or babies. The whole atmosphere, how people were introducing to each, uh, each uh, were introducing each, you know, to each other, chatting, mingling. So it was it was really really amazing thing to observe and to be part of and then I was so 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 happy to see Kimberly because I don't see Kimberly often enough and her mom actually joined her which was amazing both of them came so I had opportunity to meet Kimberly Kimberly's mama Kimberly I mean uh, Kimberly from Kimberly's Cocoon here on YouTube and I'm going to link all YouTube uh, channels all the ladies who have YouTube channels down uh, below in my description guys so all ladies from my local group who attended the doll show uh, their channels are going to be linked down there down below in my description as I said so yes it was really nice to see Kimberly it was fantastic to meet her mom I have to tell you guys uh, I, now I know where she gets a lot from her mom is very, very, very sweet and very kind and a lot of fun. And so that was amazing. We had few reactions. Um, so as I said, yes, all in all, it was a great, great, I had a great time. Uh, I wish few other ladies, my friends here on YouTube, lived closer because I think they would really, truly enjoy and fully enjoy meeting with other people. I know that a lot of people do not have this chance to hang out with local people. And I just have to tell you guys, encourage you, a year and a, and a half ago, I had no idea whatsoever that this could happen and look at that. So yes, I am very, very proud of um, my local group. It's uh, I kind of think of it as um, partially as my baby. So I'm, I'm really excited to see new and new members and people who really, really feel like it's a good environment for them. Even a lot of shy ladies who are really, really shy. I was told, you know what, Katie, I would never ever believe that this would happen. That I can't believe that I have a stroller for my dolls now because they have been collectors. Most of them or a lot of them have been collectors for longer, you no know, longer time than I have been, longer period of time. And they never took their doll out in a public. And suddenly they told me they felt brave enough to join our group and to buy the strollers and just venture out and to see, you know, to see what's out there, to have fun with uh, other collectors with us. So I am very, very proud, guys. I, I know I'm kind of like, uh, bursting here, but yes, I'm going to show you now, guys. Uh, since um, Gabriel already is burped and he is just sleeping, poor thing. So let me put him here, and I'm going to show you now, guys. <laughs> Look at that, he's so adorable. So, I'm going to show you guys now few items that I got at the show Excuse me, ladies. and also I got a gift from Kimberly so let me start with a gift from Kimberly 
and also I got something from Kylie. So uh, I got this beautiful bag, and can you believe it? It's Tuesday, I haven't opened it, Kimberly. I've been a really patient girl, but it's time. So, oh my goodness, and I see something yummy. I see my Zumbar frankincense and myrrh. Thank you, my very, very favorite holistic organic handmade soap. I love the company. Thank you so much, my darling. And it smells heavenly. Thank you. And I see fabulous chocolate truffles from Trader Joe. And dark peanut butter cups. Creamy peanut butter cup and dark chocolate from Trader Joe's as well. Thank you so much. Look at these. Yummies. Yummies are always very, very welcome here, guys. So thank you so much, my dear. I just got my lunch and I have nothing, nothing sweet, guys, because I'm really, I cleaned my... Uh, Pantry, so we are back on track every time on spring we do a heavy detox me and my husband and I did the same for Charlie which for for pets of course for doggies and I tossed away everything but and I didn't replenish any good chocolates because chocolates are very healthy guys they're very healthy for your psyche for your emotional state they're very far I love chocolates okay they make me happy so Yes, those are. Thank you so much, my dear. And I have a even flow glass bottle. Thank you. And she said, Kimberly said that these two things are for my newest baby, which I'm not going to tell you, but it's a very rare, super cool, very hard to find scalp. So I'm, uh, oh my goodness. And look at that, I'm going to, Oh, how beautiful. Look at that, ladies. This is right up my alley. And it's powder blue set off a bib. Oh, my goodness. And I think this is a uh, crocheted. I don't know. Kimberly, did I have to? No, this is vintage. This is a vintage, vintage bib. Oh, and this is handmade on Filipino, Filipi Philippines, this little vintage linen dress. Loving it, it's gorgeous. Thank you so much, my dear, dear Kimberly. I love it, my darling. And this is just to show you really fast all the detail. So this is beautiful. Thank you. Uh, then there I got this set and all the ladies, especially Gloria. <laughs> Gloria will love this. I got this set from uh, Kylie. Kylie found this set a few months ago at one of her local consignment sales. And this is for all the ladies who have been following, this is my all-time favorite vintage Carter's line and it's called Pretty Blue. And this is the only piece or set that I have been missing, guys. I have been missing these overalls and these little blouse and this is in mint condition. Kylie, you are fabulous. Thank you so, so, so much. And I have to make an update video next week hopefully because i will have more babies at home i need my lulu to do that but look at that this is a true true vintage old carters in a fabulous brand new condition and you can see or i hope you can see the difference uh in the quality in the fabrics and uh, just everything I just wish that characters would still making this quality and this type of clothing because it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous and it has no no match. So that's that's it. Thank you so much, my dear. So that uh, I got from Kylie. And at uh, Jacqueline's booth, 
Jacqueline's booth is, what can I tell you, it's a treasure chest slash a disaster for my wallet because I want everything. I want her uh, babies, I want her one-of-a-kind, handmade, unique outfits, I want her little bracelets for babies. I have about seven of them, so I didn't get any bracelets this time. Uh, she has fabulous, uh, hard-to-find, honest diaper diapers with patterns, uh, all these, uh, I don't know, pacifier clips, these, these little baby, like, uh, things, uh, accessories, uh, I, uh, my goodness, guys, you have to see the video, but I was, uh, I was saving money because I knew what would happen uh, the second I would set my foot into that booth. So I got three outfits. Uh, two of these the first one is a pink toil and it's a blouse and diaper cover I wanted uh, Something nice and unique and frilly for my newest baby because I decided I'm not sure but I think I will uh, make her a girl And it has little lace running down there and I just love this, love this, love this set. And so that's the first set. The second one, thank you guys. Second set is a little, again, a uh, little blouse with a diaper cover. And again, ruffles, fabulous material. And it has a little Peter Rabbit, I think it's Peter Rabbit character. And it's fantastic. I cannot wait to put her in it. And the third set. And when, what did I do? Oh, yes. The third set is the set that I have been eyeing for. This is the second or third show. Second show. And it's a little Pooh Bear set. And it's actually four piece set. It consists of a baby romper. A little coat with Peter Pan rabbit of course you have Pooh Bear characters right here on the pockets and on the romper and it's blue and linen oatmeal color which is fantastic for the summer and it comes with little booties matching boots and a little hat and I know this is kind of like boyish but you know what I'm going to do some unisex outfits and I think uh, this will fit Lulu it's going to be a little bit loose but I just really couldn't I, ca I can't get over this set last time and when I saw it on Sunday that she still had it and I asked her if she could make it in a smaller size but unfortunately she doesn't have this type of material so I just got it. I'm going to work with it. My mom is coming, so and she's really skillful with machines. So in a case I need to take it in or something, maybe she will help me. But that's the third set, guys. And um, then I got a little vintage, almost antique little bonnet, which I will. I'm. Go I need to put it into a baby oxyclean because it has some yellowish staining but I just couldn't pass this up for my new baby for the photo shoot this is very dainty very classic look baby look so it's a bonnet so I got that and the last thing is a pair of vintage uh, leather baby shoes and also the socks and they these are piece of art I absolutely love them they are cream color uh, the leather the feel of the leather amazing and the lady had these oh my goodness little socks in there so I just uh, bought the whole thing because it's a classic timeless look again I think I will use it together with one of my uh, handmade linen 
gowns and this bonnet and I will do some professional photo shoot with my new baby. So yes ladies, uh, that would be that would be my haul from the doll show, my gifts from a dear friend from my dear friends and a little chat. I would like to thank you for sticking around because it's been 35 minutes and I've been rambling. I hope you will come back guys tomorrow. I want to do that hot topic. It is re very river related. So hopefully you will stick around. I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful week, ladies. Uh, have a fabulous time. Have a successful week. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you and bye again.